<laughs> Yo, <clears throat> yo, what is going on? Peeps. So you're looking for ways to improve at CSGO fast. I got you. Here's five tips for you to improve. Let's get it. Now, the first tip I got for you is to focus on yourself. There's so much toxicity in many games that it feels so pointless to continue with the games because it's just going to turn into a, how do I put it nicely? Um, you know, a pussy fest of boys trying to blame each other for anything. And I mean literally anything. If you are struggling in a game or your team is struggling, instead of being toxic toward each other, just stay focused on your own play and be a friend rather than an enemy to your teammates. Drop for them when they need it, flash for them, trade kills, tell them nice try rather than saying you're a big pile of squid shit. I can't count the amount of immature players out there who find joy in making their teammates feel like absolute horse shit and making them play even worse. Like, I mean, <laughs> you know, like, like, please, please for the love of CSGO God, don't be that immature prick. Okay? Like, I mean, just, just grow up and instead, like, you know, encourage them. Make them know that, yeah, you, you understand that they made a mistake and that's okay. Like, it's fine. Because in Face It or Matchmaking or ESEA, you can always come back and make up for your mistakes. Like, seriously, you can. Then you may ask, what if your teammates start trolling? Well, I mean, what worked for me was I took it upon myself to play even better. Like seriously, I made sure I was making plays like entry fragging, utilizing my spawns to get the first early kills, and I would never, ever say anything or do anything that would provoke my teammate to troll even more. I mean, like, I'm sorry guys, but that's the sad truth. But as long as you just ignore him and maybe try to play around him, tell your teammates to just ignore him and play the damn game, there would be less arguing and more playing. Now, if you go down doing this shit and you're gonna and you're being that toxic player and blaming others for bullshit reasons like a little child, then you better go back and listen to this first tip five, no, not five, ten more times. Because if you if you do this and all you do is blame others, you will never improve, blah, 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 never improve. <laughs> you will never improve on your gameplay and mainly yourself. No one will ever wanna play with you, bitch, unless you wanna be a loner. I mean, it's up, completely up to you. You know, this is not what this game's about. So tip number two, this is, sorry. This tip is so common and has been said a lot in the past years. Not a lot of you guys do it. It's so simple. Watch your own gameplay. It's that simple. Record yourself. And when you play it back, you can just put it on fast forward by, I don't know, times two or by four, just to save you some time. It is one of the best things you can do for yourself in order to improve fast and quickly. When you watch yourself, watch every round, all your deaths, your positioning, your movement, your spray patterns, even the rounds that you've won. All that shit. Watching your gameplay footage gives you a different perspective compared to when you are playing in the game. So, you know, highly suggested. No, 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 wait, 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 not, not highly suggested. Highly do it. Don't sit on it, do it. Do it now. Watch your own damn play and just give yourself some time. Watch it, learn from your mistakes. Easy, easy tip number two. Tip number three. Don't, do not get emotional. You motherfucker, oh, you're lucky you don't know me in real life. I will smack you so hard, you will be working for what? Fuck, sandwich, sandwich, sandwich. I don't care. Don't get too emotional. Yep, because firstly, if you become too hyped, you tend to make more aggressive plays without really thinking, and that can really backfire on your ass. No kidding. You might tend to go off on your own because you think you're Superman or CSGO and kill anyone. With that mentality, you can really f fuck the game up and also fuck your teammates up. Secondly, if you start to feel tilted or angry, easily you will make stupid ass plays and you will lose the game. Easy, done, game's over. 
I know this tip may seem obvious to you guys, but at times you can't really help it. You know, you can't really help it when someone does some stupid shit or, you know, you're over flicking and you're not hitting your shots, you, you know, you lose focus when you get mad and then, you know, shit goes out. All hell goes loose. Or will, how do you say? All hell breaks loose. Yeah, all hell breaks loose. You know what I mean, guys? But on the other hand, you could be an emotional player and that's just who you are. That, 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 that's fine. If it helps you win, then that's good. Only you know your own limits. But if you start to lose more because of you becoming too emotional, then you gotta find a way to work on yourself and just remember, it's just a game. You know, it's, you, you, you're not a professional. You ain't Stewie 2K. You ain't flashing through smokes and you know, flicking to other people and winning a major, okay? Just, even though you want to, these kind of emotions can really backfire on you. Just saying. Why do you think a lot of pros tend to stay calm and collected when they play, even if they make ridiculous plays? You know, you know what I mean, guys? Think about it. Tip number four, training maps. I know I've said this in my previous video. If you guys haven't watched it yet, there you go. Training maps. I will, I'm gonna put some links as well in the description so that you can see which ones you would you could get which worked for me. These maps I have used before to warm up and train my aim every day. My usual routine would be to get on these training maps and then go onto a community server free for all. Although in my previous video, I did mention game sense is just as important as aim, but uh, I mean, aim still is quite important. So these training maps really helped me um, improve every day when I started out. And if these maps have worked for me, it can definitely work for you. So just take some time to try them out. It doesn't even have to be for a long period of time. Just just get on it and be good to go. Just spend 15 minutes. If, if you know you don't have much time on your hands and you know you just want to get straight into a game, it wouldn't it would definitely help you to warm up a little bit. Train, just train, train, train. That's how you improve faster. Easy. Last tip. Last tip. Here we go, guys. Last tip, play as a team. Simple as that, play as a team. I found, especially in lower levels, it's so easy to get rounds. It's so, it's so easy, like, it gives me a headache when people don't do this. It's so easy to get rounds when you just simply play as five. Is that easy? Whatever play you guys call, 5A short, 5A long, 2A short, 3A long. Like, it's a, as long as it's all as long as you guys play together and it's coordinated you're gonna win most of the time unless the enemy teams are smurfs and they just have crazy aim and game sense most of the time will work when you guys do play as five it's easier to trade kills it's easier to make enemies confused and they're gonna flick their crosshair all over the screen you know what i mean it's just easier to get kills guys it's just just play as five it's so so simple i don't know why people want to lurk unless you have perfect timing on when you when you lurk and when you, when you catch out rotations like okay if you can do that if you're a good looker lurk ah, if you're a good lurker fine do it but most of the time people in the lower levels they don't know how to lurk just uh, not 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 to attack you guys not to attack you guys it's just it's not as easy as you think so if you're on ct side play in a position where it makes it easier for your teammates to trade off you in case you die if you do have the opportunity to back off when they got five rushing to you do it do it do it just get the hell out of there back off try your best to gather up with your team and retake together when you, it doesn't matter which side you're on, if you're T side, CT side, if you guys play together, play as five, games will be much easier and less stressful on you guys. You know, it's that's why I suggest that you 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 know you bring a couple friends with you. If you got a full lobby, that's great. You guys can communicate better, easier, so you guys can get you can you can get wins easier. Those are my five tips for you to improve at CS:GO. These have been the things I had in mind when I started playing, and I can say I did prove a lot. I did prove a lot. I can say that I did improve a lot. Of course, there were days where I did poorly, but the next day was always better. 
So just, just keep it up. Just keep playing. Eventually, you'll get the hang of this game. Yeah, that's it for me. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for, for listening. I hope, it help, I hope it's going to help you. If it did, then I'm happy. I'm glad I was able to help you. So stay frosty, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.